Match day 28. Ridge County 1. Terrius Rovers 0. I was dreaming about apple sauce and, and lovely dinners and ooh, pudding. Ooh. Uh, Bowser now being nil. Redding Forest 2. Dawnstar United 4. Kenley City 2. Seacrest County 3. Raccoon City 0. Pallet Town 2. Pez United 0. Seoul City 2. Arclay Rovers 4. Port Town 3. Hyrule Wanderers 0. Castle Villa 2. Sparta United 2. Casadis Town 0. Mute City 0. Rifting United 1. Oakville Wanderers 0. 10 points clear of Pez United from another 65th minute cheating piece of crap. Um, just pathetic, isn't it? Superstar difficulty, full manual passing. That is pathetic. I mean, I start the season, I put a decent squad together. I thought, I can't wait to use these. But, you know, I, I was always tempered by the fact that I'm playing Pez, so it was always going to be shit, wasn't it? I mean, 34 goals scored. I would have thought in this division with the squad that I've got, we would have buried the opposition. But it doesn't make any difference, does it? It doesn't matter who you sign. I keep saying it, but it doesn't. And signing players and building a side is what Master League is all about, is it not? So the whole point of the game is just defunct. How? Pray tell. I mean, someone, please tell me. How, if you're a reviewer and your job professionally is to explain and tell people about games, surely the one thing you must do is be able to understand them and what's going on when you play them. So how do you arrive at a review score of 9 out of 10 or 9.5 out of 10? How does it fucking happen? Money, probably. 14,750,100 power lines in the kitty. So our next match will be away to Borussia Mönchengladbach in the knockout round, the first leg, first round knockout of the Champions League. Which will probably be a 65th minute cheating piece of shit. Um, looking at their squad just as it is on the graphic, we've got a better team than they have. Uh, I was pleased with the draw. I think it's a winnable game, absolutely. Um, so we'll have a look at the form and condition of my players and see who's going to come out. But I absolutely think that we're better than them. Uh, I, don't, I don't even think it's an argument. Um, right, line up. So Renteri is slightly knackered, but because he's captain in such an important match, I would suspect he plays. Um, just like slight tiredness like this, where they're on the same condition, I'll play the player who isn't tired. Um, where there is form, I'll play the player on better form. So, you know, if it's they're on the same form and one's slightly knackered and one's not, I'll play the one who's not knackered. Where a player's really up for the game, like for example here, even though he's slightly tired, I'll play the player in form. And then I'll bring the other one on a substitute, and that's how I'll work it. But there is no blue arrows and no purple arrows in my squad whatsoever. So I should have um, a fully fit, well, saying fully fit, slight tiredness, but fully functioning squad to pick from. And as you know with me, um, I have you know a couple of players for each position, really, apart from centre forwards where I've got three to choose from um, so yeah we'll get a team out there and we will be stronger than them um, whatever team I put out there and you can see that yeah we are stronger than them winnable game a winnable game um, if it doesn't cheat <laughs> right in between times as always take care <laughs>